All right, so you wanna know how I animated the pinball and likes two door video? Let's get right into it. So now we're in viewport view and you can see that the ball is actually moving along a camera rig rail. And when I press play with the visualization on, you can see how it moves along and the ball is just attached to the rig rail. So in a new scene, make sure you have game view off so you can see the splines. I have a rig rail, a sphere and a cube that we're gonna move it around. So right here, the rig rail has three points, one, two, three, and the other one is the handle. So if you alt drag any of the points, you will duplicate the spine and add another one on top of it. And so we're gonna quick go around the cube and make a little test path. And if you try rotating the spline points, it doesn't do anything. You have to move the handles and that will change the rotation direction of each spline point. And I'm gonna add an extra long point right here to show something about the absolute position. Absolute position moves the rig. It takes the same amount of time to go between each point. So points that are close together will go super slow and the ones that are far apart will go super fast. So instead I change it to current position and just like that, you change the animation and what you're tracking and it will be smooth. If we set to linear, you can see that it stays the exact same speed the whole time throughout. Next, we want to attach this sphere to the rig rail. So make, bring it into the sequencer, press attach, and make sure you reset the transform so the sphere goes right on where the rig rail is. We're gonna make it a little smaller. And now you can see, boom, you got a pinball ready to animate. Now, if you're using a different type of object, like a car or something that has to be facing in one way, I'm just gonna show you how that works with this cube right here. So you do the same thing, drag it into your sequencer, press attach, attach it to the rig rail, zero the transform, and then when you press play, you see it will turn the direction that the spine is going. Now to make sure the rail doesn't show up in the render, you have to turn off rail visualization, but I found that this turns itself back on every time you reopen. So just to be safe, turn preview mesh scale to zero and turn the rail visualization off. And then you can go into game view, and boom, you got your smooth movement. Now, I use a combination of the spline rails and transform points in the video to do different types of movements. So I'm gonna show you all here. You can just keep it attached and then add some transform keyframes right there and boom, you got some smooth movement and can make a nice video like this.